This is the fifth section of chapter nine on trigonometric ratios. And this section is about graphs of sine, cosine and tangent. So you need to recognize the graphs of sine, cos and tan. So we'll start with the graph of sine. Notice that this axis here is labeled as theta. So this is an angle on the X axis. It has this shape. It repeats every 360 degrees. So we say it has a period of 360. It carries on forever in both directions. I've just drawn dotted lines to show that it carries on. And it has a maximum of one, goes up to a peak of one, and a minimum down at the bottom here of negative one. Next, we'll have a look at the graph of cos. Now you can see it's the same basic shape as sine, but it seems to be shifted over. So here, when theta is zero, it's at its peak one and then it goes down whereas at zero for theta here sine is basically at zero sine theta is zero so it's the same basic shape it shifted across a bit uh, a bit um, uh, but it has the same features it repeats every 360 degrees it carries on forever in both directions a maximum of one and a minimum of negative one and then lastly look at the graph of tan now this is the odd one out it doesn't fit with the other two uh, it repeats every 180 degrees rather than 360 like sine and cos. Let's just write down here that this is the graph of y equals tan theta. It has no maximum or minimum. It goes up forever and goes down forever at certain points. And it has asymptotes. These are the points where one bit goes up forever and one bit goes down forever. The asymptotes appear every uh, 180 degrees and the first one here is at 90, then you got one here at negative 90. So 90 plus 180, there's going to be another one at 270 and so on. Every 180 degrees in both directions. Example 11, sketch the graph of y equals cos theta in the interval going from negative 360 to positive 360. So let's just draw uh, a y axis here, then we're going to draw our axis for theta. And remember, cos starts at 1 and goes down like this. So if we're going to draw it up to 360, it means like one cycle here. So we stop at 360, and then we're going to do the same in the other direction. One cycle there, we stop there, negative 360. And we'll label it y equals cos theta. Let's go on to part B. Now, part B is in two parts. Part one, sketch the graph of y, y equals sine x between negative 180 and positive 270. OK, so we'll draw an axis again like this. So it's going to be a bit lopsided. We're going to have more of sine on one side of the axis than the other. So sine is going to start down here. If we're only going to go up to 270, so we'll start, so there's 0, that's 90, 180, 270 stops down there. So we'll put 270. And then going backwards, we have 90, negative 90, negative 180, so it stops there. Okay, and then the second part of part B, it says sine negative 30 equals negative 0.5. Use your graph to determine two further values for x of x, which satisfy sine x equals negative 0.5. Okay, so negative 30 degrees, I reckon it's going to be about there, negative 30. So what the piece of information here is telling me that if I read off this graph, this value is negative 0.5. And the question says, find other values for x for which we get negative 0.5. So if we go across, there's somewhere here. And if I go across this way, there's somewhere here. Now I can use the symmetry of the graph to work out what these values are. Right, this is all symmetrical. Now notice this little gap here is 30 degrees. So that means that this little gap here is 30 degrees. So if this is negative 30, this angle here, this bit, must be negative 150 degrees. 
it's all symmetrical. That's 30 degree gap. That's a 30 degree gap. Negative 180 plus 30, I'll get negative 150. So what have I got? So the first thing that I've got is that if I do the sine of negative 150, that should also equal negative 0.5. So I've got a value of x as negative 150 degrees. Okay, there's somewhere here as well where I also get negative 0.5. Again, we're going to use this symmetry. This is a gap of 30 degrees. So this is a gap of 30 degrees. Now we know this angle here is 180. So this angle here is going to be 180 plus 30. It's the same size gap as that. It's all symmetrical. So that means that this angle here, 180 plus 30, is 210 degrees. Now what does that mean? If I do the sine of 210 degrees, I also get negative 0.5. So that gives me a value of x as 210 degrees. So you should now be able to do an exercise 9f on page 194.